Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's version 11 UI changes are receiving strong critical feedback from drivers. Tesla 2021 holiday update rolls out to legacy Model S and Model X vehicles. Tesla Giga Berlin battery manufacturing team gets to work as planned construction continues. And Tesla Model Y body arrives as Giga Texas hinting at structural battery pack production. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's 2021 holiday update included a number of key changes to the user experience of the company's vehicles. But while numerous new functions, such as blind spot monitoring and the new light show feature, have been widely praised, several Tesla owners have shared strong criticisms of software version 11's user interface, particularly with how it made accessing some important functions more difficult compared to version 10. A good number of these complaints could be seen in the Tesla Motors subreddit, a community of over 1.48 million users. Over the past few days alone, numerous Tesla owners have gone on the subreddit to share their displeasure at the UI changes that came with version 11, to much agreement among the online group's users. Simply put, while Tesla owners agreed that the new features that came with version 11 were great, the usability and implementation of the UI changes could have been done better. It appears that numerous Tesla owners are not happy about the fact that some functionalities such as driver profiles, seat warmers, trip information, save dashcam, and tire pressure to name a few, now require more taps to access than before. Some Tesla owners have gone as far as to state that since some features now require an extra step to access, their vehicle could end up being less safe. This is quite ironic, as Teslas are frequently ranked as among the safest vehicles on the road. Criticism has also been shared about the other visual updates that were rolled out with version 11, with some Tesla owners noting that the icons in the new update do not have the same uniform, polished look as those that were used in version 10. Others noted that the position of information, such as the vehicle's speed had regressed as well, as the driver's hand could end up covering the speedometer with the version 11 update. The fact that there are icons for Tesla Arcade, Toy Box, and Theater, which are inaccessible when the car is on drive anyway, and none for tire pressure, trip information, seat heaters, and lights, was deemed strange as well. This is not to state that version 11's UI has universally been received negatively, of course. While the update has its critics, version 11's revamped look has also received some praise from other Tesla owners. Some have noted that version 11's fresh interface makes their vehicle look and feel like a new car again, while others have stated that new features, like the extended FSD view, are pretty cool to have. Others have also noted that while version 11 may seem unpolished for now, Tesla's tendency to listen to its customers and roll out frequent over-the-air software updates means that improvements to the system's UI are likely coming. We would love to hear your thoughts on this new update, so share it in the comments. Moving to the next update, Tesla 2021 Holiday Update rolls out to legacy Model S and Model X vehicles. When Tesla recently conducted the initial rollout of its 2021 holiday update, electric vehicle owners were quick to point out that pre-refresh Model S and Model X vehicles were seemingly left out. This was quite unfortunate, since software version 11 could be considered as one of the most extensive holiday releases that Tesla has released to date. Fortunately, it appears that Tesla has now started to roll out version 11, to some of its pre-refresh Model S and Model X vehicles. Images of the new software running the updated system were shared online. As mentioned by a Tesla owner on Twitter, even their 2017 Model S 100D received the update, though some features, like the blind spot camera feature, were not included. Software version 11 features a wide variety of changes to Tesla's vehicles, from a programmable light show and new games, to blind spot monitoring camera functions, and a customizable app launcher. Some of these features, such as Sentry Mode Live Camera Access and Auto Seat Heaters, are inaccessible to legacy vehicles. 
These include Model S and Model X that are equipped with MCU-1 units. Pre-refresh Model S and Model X that are equipped with MCU-2 infotainment systems are capable of receiving more features from the version 11 suite, including subwoofer tunability, the capacity to edit waypoints, and access to TikTok, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sudoku, and the multiplayer option for the battle for Polytopia. Regardless of their infotainment system, all Teslas are to receive Dark Mode, a customizable app launcher, the ability to hide map details, and cold weather improvements, with the version 11 rollout. Similar to Tesla's other software improvements, it should also be noted that version 11 is downloadable over the air and completely free of charge. Moving to the next update, Tesla Giga Berlin battery manufacturing team gets to work as planned construction continues. The battery manufacturing team at Tesla Giga Berlin has already started working, sources say, in preparation for production, once the battery factory is ready. As soon as the facilities are operational in Germany, employees will be able to quickly get to work, which could happen as early as 2022. Manufacturing its own battery cells for Tesla is one of the key points. The 4680 cell developed by the company is a game-changer in the industry and will only extend the gap from competitors. Tesla equips its Giga Texas and Giga Berlin with factories to manufacture new cells so that they can be produced locally, significantly reducing their production costs. Throughout 2021, the American manufacturer actively recruited a battery cell manufacturing team for Giga Berlin. Hundreds of positions are no longer displayed on the company's website and have not been re-displayed, which indicates that they have been filled. Today, the company employs on only about 20 job positions, most of which are related to the manufacturing of battery cells. The battery factory building at Giga Berlin is under construction and progressing at a very fast pace. Part of it already has a roof, while another part has supports and partly a roof frame. Given the speed at which Tesla can build, the building will be completed sometime in 2022. Despite the fact that the building of the battery factory is not yet ready, this does not mean that the specialists hired for the production of batteries are waiting for it to be completed before starting their duties. Tasmanian's source at Giga Berlin indicates that specialists have already started work some time ago and new specialists are joining the team. Although the direction of their activities is still unclear, it can be assumed that there is a lot that needs to be done before starting production. The 4680 battery technology is new and incorporates many new processes and equipment developed by the company. Therefore, any new specialists will need to undergo training before they can work in production. As such, the activities they are currently engaged in could include learning and training at Tesla's facilities in Fremont, in the battery factory, located on Cato Road. After that, once the Giga Berlin factory is finished and the equipment is installed and set up, they can start production immediately. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model Y body arrives as Giga Texas, hinting at structural battery pack production. On the first day back at work, after the Christmas break, crews at Giga Texas received a special delivery, hinting that the factory is nearing production of Model Y cars with structural battery packs. Captured in a drone flyover by Joe Tegmeyer, a test Model Y body and alignment rig arrived at the north end of the factory, near the paint shop. While this isn't the first sighting of a Model Y body at Giga Texas, this one is particularly interesting because of one small but significant detail that could be easily missed. The frame of the car has no floor, indicating this is a test Model Y body that will be built with a structural battery pack with 4680 cells. Here's what the current generation Tesla Model Y frame looks like, clearly showing the bottom plate, which serves as the attachment point for the battery pack with 2170 cells. And here is the only image we have seen of a Model Y with a structural battery pack, which was on display at the Giga Berlin Brandenburg County Fair in October. The second photo clearly shows the battery pack also serves as the floor of the electric SUV, with the seats bolting directly onto it. This is yet another sign Tesla is progressing quicker than most people think.
towards Model Y production, with 4680 cells and structural battery packs. Earlier this month, Tegmeyer also spotted 4680 cell production line equipment already installed inside the factory. Tesla is aiming to open the factory and begin production in early 2022. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.